What's up, my name is TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to manually install programs from the Microsoft Store if they're not installing normally or you'd like to install them offline. What do I mean? Well, if I pull across my Microsoft Store over here, you can see the install button for your phone is currently spinning. It's been spinning for the past six or so hours. This program is most definitely not going to install at all. Now, unlike normal programs that you can download EXEs for or MSIs or whatever they are over the internet, you can't do that here. So you can't install them yourself. You have to use this DRM Microsoft Store to do so. So how exactly can we download the program and install it ourselves manually if the Microsoft Store is not working at all? Well, without getting into anything about fixing this, let's step around it completely. First of all, we'll need to locate the application on the Microsoft Store on the web. So Googling for your phone MS store, short for Microsoft store, we come across to this page over here from Google, Microsoft.com, etc. All we need to do is copy the link at the very top by hitting control A and control C. Now that we've copied the link, head across to the first link in the description down below, store.rg-adguard.net. I'm not entirely sure where the site came from, but it is pretty prolific. There's tons of people who talk about this website, all the way from downloading specific versions of Windows to downloading apps, etc., etc. It comes up a lot, and I'm pretty sure it's relatively trustable as it comes up everywhere. All we need to do is paste the link into the text box over here as such, and then change it from RP to Retail, and click the tick box over here. It'll then search for the app, and if nothing's found, look at the address over here, microsoft.com, enus, your phone, followed by a bunch of numbers and characters, and then there's a hash, active tab, pivot overview. We can get rid of everything after the hash right over here. So usually it's the HTTPS, microsoft.com, enus, or whatever the language is, slash p, or whatever it is there, slash the name of the app, in my case, your phone, followed by a bunch of random digits and characters. After this, pretty much everything else is useless. Clicking the tick once again, we're searching for the correct link. Now you'll see a ton of things over here. Most of these are requirements for the program and not actually part of it, but scrolling down to the bottom in my case, you can see Microsoft.YourPhone starts about here. If I hit Control F and search for your phone, you'll see all of the ones highlighted over here. Awesome. So there's a ton of different versions and we can see the date of release on the right hand side over here, as well as the date within the actual app name itself. Yours may be different depending on what program you're searching up. In my case, I'll be looking for the most up-to-date version, which is all the way down at the bottom, 2021.809. This is the latest link right at the bottom over here. You'll see block maps, as well as Apex bundles as such, as well as sometimes e-Apex bundles. The e Apex bundle is an encrypted Apex bundle, so we don't want this. We're going to look for the Apex bundle as such. So we'll click on it to download the latest version of your phone over here. 2021-809-2139. If it doesn't start downloading, we can right click and open it in a new tab instead. Or if you use an external download manager, you can use that as well. Once it's done downloading, you'll be left with a file that looks something like this. All we have to do now is simply double click on it and it'll open in the default app installer. We can simply choose install, it'll then install on our computer, and if this button is ticked, it'll launch when it's ready. There we have it, your phone is now open. Congratulations, you've now successfully manually downloaded an app from the Windows App Store and installed it yourself offline. If you'd like, you can put this onto a USB and take it elsewhere. Just do note that if there are specific requirements and the app doesn't work without them, you'll need to download whatever requirements they are, the same way that we did here, downloading AppX or the AppX bundle as such. The bundle should have the requirements included already, I would think. Just do note, the e Apex bundle is encrypted and you're not able to use that. Anyways, now that this is done, I no longer have to wait another six hours in hopes that the Windows Store will fix itself. Hopefully you found this video as useful as I did creating it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.